Happy Veterans Day and welcome to another episode of Pristine Papers. Hope you're having a good afternoon so far. I just uh, went to my local hobby store and wanted to do a quick video on some of the things that I picked up. It may not be too quick, but uh, hopefully quick enough. Uh, bought a couple of the Project 2020 um, box or uh, packs. They had them there for $3.99. I actually already opened those because I just couldn't help myself. And also a Jersey Fusion Um I don't know if y'all have seen that project the product yet. It is pretty interesting. Um, I have a couple of interesting cards that I pulled out of there um, already. Uh, and I open them in the actual hobby shop because they have re rebates if you uh, pull a specific player or something like that. So I've already opened those. So um, let's look at the Jersey Fusion. These are about 29 uh, or so uh, for these. If you haven't seen these cards before, they come in a nice one-touch. They have a nice piece of jersey there with the card, and these are numbered. I don't know if you can see that. Numbered to 20 out of 25. Basically, they buy back a card. Now, the interesting thing is you could take that card out, and the jersey is actually attached to a piece of glass. And you can take that card out and put in a different card if you wanted to put in a special card that you happen to like of that player. Um, and on the back, it has a little bit about the um, QR code where you can scan that and tell what game it was from uh pretty interesting product i find it pretty interesting and uh has some interesting or has some cool uh people in there you can get autographs out of there too i pulled an al k line now i did open these up as well 399 they actually come with the nice one touch and i'm like man the one touch is worth 399 by itself let alone the card um project 2020 this is the uh remake of the henderson um <clears throat> henderson rookie card there Pretty interesting you can get sketch cards out of these or actual cards that are um from the artists like hand-drawn cards which are going to be worth a lot more obviously and special parallels and things of that nature which are pretty cool um but that is one of them that i got also pulled a jackie robinson um just different card i don't know if that's any from a specific year i don't think that is but um, 1952 Tops Baseball. Okay, so that's saying it's a 52 design, um, which I would not have been able to guess that. Um, I did pull a couple other things. This is an Onyx Vintage Box Baseball. Uh, I wanted to just pull that. I never opened it before, but I've seen them opened. Um, thought they were, you know, worth just whatever, scratch off. I'll just buy a box. They have potentials for J-Rod autos. Um, I believe this one comes with one autograph card if i'm not mistaken and then they sign them in different colored inks um the different colored inks mean different things um they'll be like numbered to one or numbered to five or numbered to ten uh just comes with a little pack in there um and it has uh i think four cards in it if i'm not mistaken so let's go ahead and see who we pull out of here maybe we'll get lucky um pull some of the big name cards they're a little different they kind of have an old timey feel to them um never opened this before but there's the back of the card kind of has like a uh, old school feel to it and there's the front nice griffey again if you haven't watched this already uh you know that i do pc griffey um and that is definitely a card that i would like there we go our first auto is a blue ink um tyler Saunderstone. They do have some um, uh, rookies as well as veterans and then also prospects in this. Corbin Carroll out of Arizona is our next one. Now, one was blue and one was green. That'll be different on which one they, uh, you know, how many of them there are. And a Jacob Gonzalez is our last one, and that says right there, prospect. Um, so, you know, different cards, different uh, players. Never opened them before. Figure I'd give it a shot, see how we could, uh, see how we fared. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to check those out, see who they are. Um, also bought a box of 2022 Baseball Chronicles. I have not opened this product yet. Um, I've seen it open several times. Thought it was, it, you know, it's a fun rip. It's not going to hold the value that your update or uh, something like that, your, you know, tops with the... Uh, you know, player, uh, the logos for the teams and stuff like that. Uh, this box, you are going to have three autographs, though, uh, plus one memorabilia. Uh, per box on average, as Panini likes to say on average, eight packs or eight cards per pack. 
And a total of how many packs? There we go, 25. Um, da, 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 where are we at? How many packs? Six packs, there we go. So this might be a pretty quick rip. Just wanted to get something out there since it's been a while. Um, there you go, you got Torkelson and Bobby Witt in the top of the box. Maybe that'll bring us some luck for uh, bringing some of them along with some J-Rods. All right, we got six packs to look at. Looks like a fat one down there, so we'll save some of those for later. Let's see what we get into. Now, if you're not familiar with these, they do have, man, uh, several different types of <clears throat> card types that they're going for. Um, you'll see here in a second, uh, different variety of cards that you're looking at there. Kind of hard to see some of the names on here. Um, oh, what is that? Matt Manning, pitcher. Uh, very thick card stocks, a lot of these too. Uh, looks like for Detroit, they do not have the uh, emblems for, there's a nice wander on the pinnacle. Wander on the pinnacle there. Ah, first one flipped around. Joe Ryan might have a Joe Ryan auto. Let's see. Nope. I did notice that these were flipped around, the elites, for some reason. I'm not sure why, but there's Joe Ryan on that. There is a Vladdy Jr. on the Donruss, clearly Donruss. Now, those cards are kind of interesting because you can typically see through them. That's interesting, though. There's a lot uh, going on on that one. Um, and some of these will have some numbered variations and things like that. All right, Titans. We've got another Vladdy Jr. So this is going to be a Vladdy box. Nothing wrong with that. Not numbered on that one. We've got a season ticket on the uh, Optic season tickets on the Reed Detmers. There we go. Colton Welker. That might be our first auto. There we go on the Recon. Oh, nice. Not bad. Uh, they are sticker autos, so that does take away a little bit from it. Uh, but they are pretty nice looking cards overall. This is the Obsidian, Jake Myers for my Astros. Not bad cards, I really like the looks of them. They have some nice shine to them and some nice color out of these. So they're a fun rip, um, you know, nothing that is gonna break the bank. I think these are about 120 bucks right now or thereabouts, you might be able to find them cheaper. Uh, there's a Tatis Jr. coming on the back there. All right, first card, we've got a Jose Uribe uh, on the Chronicles. That's like the base card right there. That one is not numbered. Okay, there's a Altuve on the, well, I'm not sure what this one is. Is it an Elite? Let's see. I don't know what the name of that one is. That'll tell you right there. Chronicles. Baseball, da, 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 da. usually it'll say on there, Elite or something like that. That's not the Elite, though. It's a little different. All right, we have one turned up, a couple of them turned upside down there again on the Stephen Kwan. Nice rookie card on that Elite. That is the Elite. That one is not numbered. Emmanuel Rodriguez, not the right Rodriguez. All right, let's see. That's probably our other auto, though, or our second auto out of this. Pulling the top two autos real quick here. Nope, not an auto. Okay, all right, good. I'm happy to see that wasn't my second auto. That's on the certified there. There looks like a Francisco Lindor on the Clear Vision. Interesting little acetate card as well. Have a Kyle Muller on the Phoenix. I do like the Phoenix card designs. Those are pretty nice, pretty sharp looking cards. There's a Luis Frias on our uh, Crusaders. Another chrome type card. There's the back of those. And let's see who else. A Bryce Harper. That is a very thick stock card. Man, these are very thick. Uh, interesting card stock. There we go. We can see on the back. Spectra. That's the Chronicle Spectra. Okay. There we go. And a nice Tatis. Very cool on the Obsidian. I wonder if that was just so different. They're just so different than anything you get out of tops, obviously. Very nice uh, cards, a little thicker card stock. Uh, very short player checklist, too. So, you know, you're going to be pulling a lot of the guys that you want to see out of this stuff, right? You know, it's not just going to be 
Uh, this one's a little wonky because of the, I think there's a mim in this one. Chaz McCormick on the recon there. We've got a rookie stars on the uh, Ramos. Nope, almost passed up a guy there. Ah, Ozzy Albies, that is the clearly Donruss. That one again has, you know, a lot of backing. A lot of the other ones that I've seen don't have much background. All right, there is a Titan, Aaron Judge, on New York uh, Yankees for now. I haven't seen any number ones unless I'm just missing it. There is a Ronald Acuna Jr. on the uh, Phoenix card there. Our Mim looks like it's going to be a Juan Yepes. That one is numbered to 49. 19 out of 49. Oh, nice. A Mim Auto with a nice tricolored patch. That's pretty nice looking. That is not a bad get. Yepes is one of the top rookies. Uh, nah, I would say one of the top rookies. He's got some potential, though. That's not a bad one, though. Definitely not a bad one. And finishes off with Tyler Miguel on the Obsidian. The Obsidians are pretty thick, too. They're a really cool looking card. Um, I like them. They are thicker card stock. I wonder if that was my Mim, and I might just get an extra auto out of it. That'd be nice if it was a autographed Mim, and still get the fourth auto out of it. Wouldn't hate that. Nice O'Neal Cruz on the back there. All right, this one's interesting. Oh, nice. J-Rod on the Classics. It's probably one of the least um, desired of the brands there, I'm sure. Uh, they always have like some sort of did you know kind of deal on there. Interesting on the J-Rod, though. Love me some J-Rod, even though he tried to take my Astros out. There's a Bruhan on the uh, Marquee, kind of a foil base card. Nice, there we go. Now we're getting some uh, color here certified on the Anthony Bender, 199. Put that on top there. Looks like a Suzuki. Nice, Suzuki on the, oh, what are these guys called? Let's see. Flip it over on the back. Sorry, guys. Not a uh, wizard on these. Chronicles. Man, I cannot read that. Not not zooming in camera. There we go. There we go. Ah, whatever. Moving on. All right. On our season tickets, we have a Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice. That does look nice. There's a nice looking card there. All right, we got a Mark McGuire. Is this a piece of relic? Yep, this is our Mim. That is on the St. Louis side with our Mim there. Nice little patch from something he may or may not have worn. No telling. Not numbered, but that is our Mim. We have gotten all of our hits out of the way. There's a nice, what is that? George Polanco. Okay, I thought. For a second, I got excited. Those Spectres are really nice looking, though. I don't know if you can see. They got a nice color to them. And the Obsidian on the O'Neill Cruz Jr., nice. Now, that has a red tint to it. I wonder if that one's numbered. It does not appear to be. Nope, no, it is. Nice. There we go. I almost missed that. Out of 25, nice. O'Neill Cruz out of 25 on the Obsidian. That's why it was red. It was a little different. Sweet. <clears throat> that is definitely a nice one. Like to follow O'Neill Cruz Jr.'s or O'Neill Cruz, sorry, not Jr. Um, see how his career pans out. If he does end up becoming a superstar, that would be great. That card might uh, be a nice one to keep for a little while. All right, Pete Alonzo on the back there. We've got a park on the Zenith. Again, a little thicker card stock. There's the back of that card. Pretty cool looking. Josh Lowe on the, um, what do we call this? Luminance. They're sharp looking cards. Uh, this is the uh, Zerpa. Again, that's probably going to be the certified. There we go. There is a Fernando Tatis on the Clearly Donruss. Again, not numbered. We got a Cal Riley on the Phoenix. Not a bad guy. Interesting career. I think he's going to be a pretty good catcher there for Seattle. And a Colton Welker on the Crusaders. Another 
Nice sharp looking card, not lots of color. There's the back of those if I haven't shown you those already. All right, Lars Newt Bar, another one numbered to 25. Nice. This is a thicker card. Um, oh, shut up. We got another auto. Another auto with another mem, numbered to 25. Look at that. Double, double mem. Nice auto on there. Look at that. Spectre, that's a beautiful card. Nice, nice, nice. This might be a hot box. I wonder if it's got more autos than it's supposed to have. That would be something, wouldn't it? Pete Alonzo. Let's check. Let's go back and check to see where we're at on our autos. Let's see if I am was just do another auto and didn't realize it. There's a Colton Welker. They're all thicker, so it's a little weird. It's kind of interesting to see. Yeah, I think we got our three autos. We just happened to get two nice patch autos. Look at that. All right, so not a hot box. I've made that mistake once, but nice to get two of our autos, mem autos, with nice fat patches on them. Rookie patch autos. I'll take that all day. And Lars Newtbar. Got to love the name. He is one of those that may be a player to watch down the road. All right, last pack here. Got the Beau Bichette on the classic there, the regular base card. Got a rookie of, man, these are really hard to check the, Packy Naughton, there we go. Another backwards card for us. I think that's one of those silver cards that is, yep. And that is a Jose Siri, no longer with my Astros. I believe he went to the Marlins. We've got a Spencer Torkelson, nice, on the clearly Donruss rated rookie. That's a nice looking card there. Nice torque. See if we can pull another J Rod. Oh, there we go. Wander on the Titans. Nice. Nice looking card there. I don't believe that one's numbered, but still a very nice card nonetheless. Season tickets. We've got a Luke Williams on the season ticket. That's a nice blue color there. Those are nice cards. Underrated, I think. There's another Tatis. These cards are really sharp. There we go. And the Christian Yelnick on Yelich, I should say, on the Obsidian there. Nice looking card. Not numbered, but uh, we did get some nice numbered cards and uh, some nice autos, some nice patch autos. Tell me what you think. Um, I haven't opened this in this year before. This is the year to do it, though. Uh, we got definitely a lot of nice rookies to chase after. Looks like we got some of the good ones on the... Uh, signatures there so we didn't get any pictures crazy huh and a little mark mcguire action on the um relic there so uh overall i think it was pretty good um would would open this again i do like the cards they're nice thick stock cards um they just have a nice feel to them that you don't necessarily get on a lot of the other cheaper cards um but I think we did pretty well. Thank you again. I always say, suggest, and I sh should have said this at the beginning, suggest listening to videos on like one and a half times or two times if, if you know, you're a real slow speaker like myself. Um, thanks again for watching. If you don't mind clicking the like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought about it. Would you be uh, wanting to buy this? I know it's up against update. So I've bought in several of those. I did buy another box of update just because I could. And I bought this. It was sitting on the shelf there uh, at my uh, card shop for $34.95. I might have got ripped off. But 2020 um, Tops Holiday, I'm going to open that up on another day. But thank you for watching this one. Hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.